Hi! Hello! Hi! How are you? Good! Good! Say hello! Welcome to Mommy's channel! Welcome! Hello! Welcome to Mommy's channel! <laughs> Hi! So we are out here. It's 7 p.m. in Finland. Look at that. We are enjoying this amazing day. Oh, oh, amazing day. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hello, everyone. So today I want to talk about you applying for your um, the residence permit, what you're supposed to do, and how you're going to be um, booking your embassy visit. So um, this is the um, embassy of Finland in Abuja. That's Nancheria. I'm going to be using it as um, kind of, let's say, case study <laughs> because I'm familiar with it. I used this when I was um, about to travel to Finland. So I just want to show you some important things you, you need to take note of. All right. So... When you come to this uh, embassy website, you have this how to apply for a residence permit. And they are going to tell you step by step, as you can see what you're supposed to do. And the first thing you're supposed to do is to fill an application form. The fourth one, apply for a residence permit electronically at enterfinland.fi. So this is the enter Finland page. When you come here, you have to log in, All right? So you should have, when, you, when they say login, for us here in Finland, I can use my online banking to log in. These are two different options. But those of you coming from outside, you need to log in with email address and password. And if you don't have an account, which obviously you don't, you click here. And then you can start um, creating a new user account from here using your email address. Okay. So when you create the account, you can, you'll be able to access the, um, the application form and then you apply. So after applying, now, this is a VFS Global website. This and this. So this is just a guide of what you are supposed to do when applying for a residence permit. All this one is not relevant if you've already done your application year. So if you've applied year to enter Finland, you paid your application fee through enter Finland. All you need to do is go to the fourth point, which is book an appointment. And when you click here, it will take you to this page where they are saying you need to write to this email address. So you need to send an email to residence permit.ng helpline.com. So when you're sending them an email, make sure you include this information, your first name, last name, email address, mobile number with country code. So if you have from Cameroon, your number should start with plus two, three, um, seven, six. Date of birth, nationality, residence permit category, which is student, online or paper application, so online. There's a big difference between online and paper application financially. The online application is less expensive than the paper application. So your passport number, the issue date, expiration date, and then from there, they will be able to reply you and give you um, an appointment date which the, my according to my last experience with them 
was terrible. <laughs> so I really hope that um, they've made some positive adjustments. All right, so this is all you need to know about app applying for residence permit, booking an embassy appointment. So I'll talk more about what to do after you book an appointment in my next video. All right. So hope this was helpful to you. And I hope that everything will go smoothly with this application. Okay. So you all know that when it comes to applying for a residence permit, you should have your bank statement ready, your insurance, um, health insurance ready, all your documents ready. So as you are filling the application from online, you are uploading all these documents because once you apply, when, once you, you have an appointment with VFS, they're just gonna go through all the um, documents that you uploaded um, through Enter Finland, all right? So they're just gonna go through that and the next thing they're going to do is they will verify. Now they are verifying because they have the documents in the soft copy. They, you are supposed to go with the originals. So they're just going to verify these documents and then book another appointment for you at the Finnish embassy. And when you go to the Finnish embassy, you still need to go with your original documents. All right. I really wish you all the best because dealing with these VFS people, like I said, I had a very bad experience with them. Do it as soon as possible. Book your appointment as soon as possible. Because they always say, oh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. We'll get back to you. And you may have appointment date after your school resume. Just imagine. So if you have your bank statement, if you have all the documents that you need, book an appointment immediately go to their website as I've shown you, book an appointment immediately. All right. So all the best. Take care.